How you doing, everyone? I'm Sean O'Kane, and welcome to episode five of our video series, Did You Know? Now, this is a story of another basilica that took 120 years and almost 10 architects to complete. St. Peter's Basilica, the ultimate symbol of the Vatican, is one of the most beautiful buildings in Rome. But with a history stretching back 2,000 years, it's also simply fascinating. Here are five surprising facts you may not have known about the Church of St. Peter. Now, this isn't the original St. Peter's Basilica. St. Peter's Basilica had actually been in construction for over 1,300 years. The imposing church you see today isn't the original Basilica of St. Peter. It's actually number two. The reason? The original church was built in the fourth century by Emperor Constantine, the Roman Empire's first Christian emperor, with the construction starting around 322 AD and taking almost 50 years to complete. This was the spot where St. Peter was thought to be buried. By the early Renaissance, though, the ancient church was in serious disrepair. But it took a guy like Pope Julius II, someone with a strong enough personality, to make the decision to tear down the entire thing and build a new one. The result? Thousands of pieces of priceless ancient art from mosaics to statues were destroyed. Construction of the new basilica began on April 18, 1506 and was completed on November 18, 1626 and is a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture. The new basilica was designed principally by Donato Bramante, Michelangelo, Carlo Maderno and Gian Lorenzo Bernini. The four-poster solid bronze canopy over the main altar, or the baldacchino of St. Peter's, appears almost dwarfed by the dome towering right above it. So you might think it's not that tall, but it is. It's almost 10 stories tall. It's just that the dome above it is even bigger, at 452 feet. The baldacchino, by the way, uses no less than 100,000 pounds of bronze. None of the paintings inside the basilica are actually paintings. Wait, what? No, really. Although at first glance, the basilica's interior appears to be elaborately decorated with paintings, from frescoes in the dome to the huge paintings hanging on the walls, every single one of those, quote, paintings is actually a mosaic done with such painstaking detail and such tiny pieces of glass making the mosaic up that they only appear to be paintings. And now, here is a slice of ancient Egypt in St. Peter's Square. The center of the St. Peter's Square boasts a 84-foot high obelisk, which most probably dates from 13th century BC ancient Egypt. The entire red granite structure was actually transported to Rome in the first century AD as a central spectacle of the Circus of Nero. The obelisk was again moved in 1585 AD, this time on the orders of Pope Sixtus V. Michelangelo was not only a painter and sculptor, he also designed the main dome of the basilica. After the passing of Bramante and Raphael, Michelangelo took up the grand project at a ripe old age of 71. According to his own words, the inspiration came, quote, for the love of God, the Blessed Virgin, and St. Peter, end quote. Michelangelo was also known for basically simplifying St. Peter's Basilica by modifying the structure into a more cohesive unit. The dome remains his piece de resistance, with its magnificent impression on the visitor being generated from a distance. The dome of St. Peter's rises to a total height of 452 feet, or 41 stories tall, from the street of the basilica to the top of the external cross. It is the tallest dome in the world. And here's another tidbit of information. St. Peter's Basilica is the home to one of Michelangelo's most famous masterpieces, the Pieta, which, by the way, he carved when he was only 24 years old. So now you know. In San Jose and Silicon Valley, the world connects. An icon awaits. Just go to urbanconfluencesiliconvalley.org and join us next time for another episode of Did You Know?